Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess. I'm about to start your monthly readings. Um, just making sure you can get everything in your view. I do have a new tripod for those who knew I murdered my last one. Um, and I'm going to start off the round with Sagittarius. Now, I am not going to do them in a particular order. They will go up on my new YouTube channel as I do them, um, which is most practical for me. Um, I'm not going to set up any expectations and then nobody will expect things that I cannot provide. So it's a matter of I'll promise only what I can deliver. So this is for September for Sagittarius. I'm going to use the Gilded Tarot by Chiro Marchetti. It is my favourite deck. Well, actually it's my second favourite deck. Well, probably my third. So I'm a bit of a Ride Away fan. And I do have the Witch's Tarot, which I really like. And I've been using that for a long time. I actually put it away because I was worried about wearing it out. But this particular deck I'm using here is the deck I'm most likely to use at home. So it's a deck that I'm very fond of because of the pictures. I find them very, uh, very well illustrated, let's put it that way. Um, I want to make sure that I'm all set up because you're the first people I've done. So I'm just going to move the Aussie Goddess sign down there. There we go. How good's that? Perfect. Ready to go, Sagittarius. So what's happening for you in the month of September? Okay. First off at the bottom of the deck, Six of Pentacles. So September for you is a month of balancing. It's a month of making sure you're getting back what you put into things. And it's the way life should be. You should never be putting in more than what you're getting back. Maybe for short periods of time, say if you were helping someone else, that's fine. But for the most part, this is about receiving back what you have put in. So if you're in a relationship that's not giving back to you emotionally, this card will sometimes come out, which means that you're either dealing with someone whose emotions are cold um, or who may be a bit heartless. So I sometimes see this card in very toxic relationships. If it's a matter of give and take on a more physical level, more tangible level, sometimes it can take, you know, somebody might be taking money off you that they're not paying back. Um, oftentimes it can mean that you're investing and not getting things back. So you might be investing in certain people, parents, family members, and nobody's giving you back in the way of, you know, thanks, gratitude, whatever. So it's not just money. This can be very um, spiritual as well. So obviously something you're going to be really thinking about in September, Sagittarius. Okay, first card out of the gate the ten of wands so that fits very nicely with the six of pentacles i'd say you're carrying way too much stuff for what you should be you're nearing the end of a cycle which is great so it could be why you're bringing the balance back into your life that's very relevant the ten of wands definitely talks about carrying too much around as you see this poor guy's back sore so if you've got a sore back yes it's because you're carrying too much emotional baggage sometimes you can get a sore back for a money baggage too so whatever this is for you you're about to put those sticks down Okay, second card out is the Five of Swords. Now, maybe you're carrying this too because you're having maybe some sort of um, bickering, fighting, um, issues with someone that, that are quite wordy and could be quite mean and nasty. Now, this guy here is, you know, he's standing in his glory there because he thinks he's won something and I always think it's winning at what cost. So have a look at, you know, are you feeling like you're coming out in front but you're not really because you're coming out with maybe you know this sense of satisfaction but it's really not satisfying it also can mean that you said harsh words to someone maybe you've got sick of carrying these bundles around and you said harsh words and you know while you feel good in the moment maybe you aren't going forward and then comes the two of pentacles and the two of pentacles talks about making a choice and it's very often you know the tossing up of two very equal things to try and find out which way to go so if it's a career you're looking at and you've got a bit sick of your career and you're carrying around too much and perhaps you've had words with your boss you're now ready to move on and find something new um, the thing is for, for this it's a matter of you know which option suits you the best maybe you don't want to move off on from where you currently are but you know it's a matter of having a look at you know is it worth staying where I am or do I have a look at something new 
in this particular one you can see a particular card you can see his ships coming in you can also see there's a bit of light shining on this pentacle so it's almost like one option is much better than the other option he's actually looking at the one that's higher at the moment so maybe one of them shines a little bit more for you and this is probably the one that's going to come out the other thing that I know in this card is the moons here so maybe you haven't got all the information yet you need to move on okay and then there's a transformation that comes from this and that that could be quite relevant being you've got the ten of wands here there's a lesson to be learned here um, if it if it, this is to do with some work you're doing I feel like you've really had enough of carrying the weight around you're quite it looks like you're maybe quite pissed off with the people you're working with you may have said some words and now you're looking for another job but this is really good because what it's led you to is a transformation so it's time to move on it's time to do something new now if I were looking at a relationship reading here or a family it applies very very much the same it's like everybody's expected you to carry everything and you've got quite sick of it you're, you've had enough you're ready to move on that's obvious with this two of Pentacles you're you know sick and tired of people not appreciating you not respecting you whatever it is it's time to move on you're about to go through a transformation and I'd say the transformation's very, very much yes, <laughs> perfect. God, preempting the cards, Yvonne. Um, it's very much about your independence. It's about who you are. It's self-identity. It's about you know how you represent yourself to the world. It's almost like this situation's got you questioning who you are, and this transformation will put you right back in your like your own power you're taking your power back here so by giving this situation away and moving on and transforming you've walked straight back into this person here the queen of pentacles represents independence self-satisfaction you know having having power having uh, a sense of who you are it's a beautiful place to be and obviously the transformation is coming in for a time when you need to let some of this crap go okay next card out is the devil now that would make me think now you're either in a relationship where you're dealing with someone who has an addiction, um, which fits very nicely with what I've seen here and you're ready to move on. It also can talk about codependency, in which case this relationship is not serving your higher good. It's time to do some work on yourself through transformation. It's also time to move on. Um, if this card, is, if sorry, if this reading, this layout, is more to do with you shedding your ego then it would fit very nicely because you've got like this you know head heart decision you've got this you know spraying out words you've got this holding of responsibilities and now you're moving on now whatever that means to you you're about to get a big transformation and you're about to move yourself into a very different place so I feel like for a lot of you it's like you've Come to this time in your life where you've realized you don't have to live your life for someone else. Whether it be your work, your job, this life is about you. It's about your um, growth, your uh, shedding of your ego and becoming the true person that you are. But it's also about recognizing it's okay to shed people who no longer serve your higher good. And that can be tough for some of us to let go of things that we love. But sometimes you just have to do that. And if this is a matter of codependency, sometimes this can talk about, you know, that narcissistic empath relationship. But it's definitely time for you to flee. And here you are looking out at your future. So through this process, this transformation, this moving into better waters, discarding that that no longer serves you, you've brought yourself around to this Three of Wands. And the Three of Wands is waiting for our ships to come in. So there's a sense of reward here. There's a sense of traveling towards something that is going to be really good for you, something that you've been looking for. But there's also a feeling of freedom here. Now that really doesn't show in the cards. That's the energy I've got here where you're sort of standing back and going, phew, that was great. I'm glad I walked away from it. It's like this self-satisfaction. Don't be caught up in your head though. You know, sometimes when we do these things and we make decisions, this card will come up because we've got ourselves into a self-imposed position. Now, it could be that you're scared of making this decision, but it shows here that you are moving forward with it. But don't keep going back to what was. You know you're walking away for the right reasons. If you've made up your mind to walk away from whatever this is, you know you've done the right thing. Don't question yourself. 
okay and the top of the pack is the nine of swords so it's still causing you sleepless nights look if this is the case it could be that you know you've undergone this for many years it could be you know that the work situation you're worried about walking away from it because you may not have the funds that you need but whatever it is the nine of swords still talks about sleepless nights so with the nine and the eight here I would say this has been a tremendous, tremendous drain on you to move to this. And there is this promise here of transformation um, and you moving away from this to get to this transformation. So I'm just going to put another couple of cards on this because I'm wondering if I can give you any more advice. Oh, you want to jump out there. Okay, this is about decision making. Yeah. Okay, this is about decision making and taking power of your own emotions. You know, the Knight of, Knight of um, Pentacles here talks about a slow moving energy. Don't put so much pressure on yourself that you can't keep your emotions balanced. This here is practical. This here and the Eight of Nine of Wands here, uh, sorry, Swords here, um, talk about, you know, this emotional upheaval, these thinking, this overthinking, this you know, constant uh, going over things in your head. And what they're calling for is for you to take the time to make the decision to, to take control of these. These are only your emotions. So your emotions are becoming overwhelming, whereas the situation appears to be under control. So make sure you don't put yourself in the position of second guessing yourself because your emotions are going crazy. Sometimes we walk back to things that we've left behind because our emotions um, take over what we're doing. Um, I don't want you to be in this situation. It looks like you've really thought it through well. So let's just put an Oracle card on that. Big month for you there, Sagittarius. Okay, angel. Okay, so your angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey. What I would say to you, whether your angels are in the physical life or whether they're on the other side, it doesn't matter. It feels to me like you have lots of support here. When we're in these positions, we tend to hang on to our pride. We tend to not tell anybody because we feel ashamed, guilty, you know, um, we, we fear people will look on us badly if we walk away from something. Now, especially in that narcissistic codependent relationship, because we have been taught to be shamed and guilty. So please make sure that you bring in the people that can help you, people that love you, people who want to help you on your journey because this card calls for you to do exactly that. Angels on this side, angels on the other side, ask for help. There's nothing wrong with asking for help. Thanks Sagittarius, I hope you enjoyed your reading.